Choosing the right high school for your child can be a daunting task, but it doesn't have to be. Welcome to Cronulla High School. Here at High School, we offer a plethora of well-rounded and unique programs, excellent staff and the necessary facilities to ensure that your child is properly educated. But before we delve into that, let's talk to the principal of Cronulla High School, Tony Ibrahim. Hi, my name's Tony Ibrahim. I'm principal of Cronulla High School. A good comprehensive high school should provide opportunities for all students in a number of areas, be they in the classroom, on the sporting field, in the creative performing arts or leadership. We here at Canola High School believe we do that well. Hello, my name is Charlotte Prini and I'm one of the 2022 Canola High School captains. And my name is Fabian Gustafson, also a captain for Canola High School. We meet fortnightly with the rest of the leadership team consisting of the prefects, the Kappa captains and the sport captains. After our meetings, we then feed back to the executive team. I'm Tony Ibrahim, principal of Canola High School. Susan Geldot, deputy principal. Joel Burnett, deputy principal. Kelly Lawson, Deputy Principal. High school can be a tough place, but luckily Cronulla High School has an excellent support network featuring a library, a welfare team and a learning support team. So let's go over to learning support to see what they have to say. Hi everybody, um, we are the learning and support team at Cronulla High School. My name is Amy Pierce and I am the learning and support coordinator in 2022 and this is my colleague Cara Boak. Um, so I look after in learning support the early years from year 7 to year 10. So I'm looking after all of the students that may have a disability or some learning needs and the way learning support looks for these years is we offer SLSO support, last support, which is I'm a last and Cara's a last. And we also offer um, special small group programs. We support reading, numeracy and literacy. We also support children one-on-one -on -one in the classroom. And we also look after special provisions. So if your child may need some extra time or some reading or some writing in their exams. Um, my colleague Cara also looks after the seniors and she's going to tell you a little bit about how she supports the seniors and what special provisions look like for years 11 and 12. So my, as Cara Bogue, my role is for stage 6 and special provisions for the HSC exams. So I'm dealing with Nessa in ensuring that students with disabilities and learning needs have all access to every exam and put applications in to best support them. In the classroom we provide SLSO support and actually work with students during their free periods and study sessions to build study skills, organisation skills and to best prepare them for their HSC exams. So we both are very passionate about supporting your children here at Cronulla High School. If you do have any questions at all about learning difficulties, disabilities or the needs of your child as an individual learner, please don't hesitate to give us an email or give us a call or come and visit us at the school. Thank you for your time. Hi everyone, my name is Rena Hatsey and I am the Head Teacher Welfare. Here at Cronulla High School, your child's wellbeing support begins before they start high school in year six during our transition program, where we gather as much information as we can. We really like to feel like we know your child before they begin here, so we can individualise their support best. Throughout their six years here with us, we have a number of wellbeing programs in place to support them academically, socially and emotionally. Your child's welfare support will be chiefly led through their year advisor, Mrs McMullen, and also their assistant year advisor. I'm really looking forward to seeing as many of you possible here at school next year. Thank you. Hi, my name is Miss McMullen and I will be the Year 7 Advisor for 2023. I'm really looking forward to meeting you all and working with you next year. I will be here to support and assist you with any issues regarding wellbeing and I look forward to meeting you. Thanks, bye. Cronulla High School's long-standing extension class program has been developed in order to enhance and enrich our high potential and gifted students. 
One program that we offer in the class is project-based learning, whereby students are provided with real-life problems and are given the opportunity to enhance their creativity, collaboration and communication skills, as well as their problem-solving skills. You know, I love books, but unlike this book, this one doesn't have any pictures in it, so I can't actually read it. The good thing for us, we're going to go head over to the English faculty and see what they have to say about Cronulla High School's English program. Uh, in Year 7 English at Cronulla High School, there's a whole lot of different activities that you engage with and a lot of different um, text types that you're going to look at and learn about. Uh, we've got a very broad program that's based around writing and expressing yourself in ways that you probably are familiar with from primary school but we're trying to build you into high school students with a little bit more awareness of the way you use language and the way that you control the world around you with the language that you do use. So our program for Year 7 English focuses around novel study where you can read books like The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe or Harry Potter and you have a look at the way in which characters are represented in that and there's all sorts of creative tasks we do with our novel study like making uh, character um, costume designs and things like that to make your study of novels interesting and fun. We've also got a unit where we look at poetry and you'll end up by the end of that unit writing your own anthology of poems where you look at all different poetic forms and you create examples for yourself and you'll end up publishing a beautiful collection that is your own work. We also look at film as a medium and we learn how to decode and understand the way that films make meaning. And we also do a lot of work on um, reading and improving our reading age. There's a PBL unit, a project-based learning unit that the extension students do, where they work across different curricular areas uh, to learn about a central idea and the way that that idea is expressed through different subjects. And there's a, an assessment task that works with that as well for the extension students. So English in Year 7 at Cornell High School is great fun and very varied and a wonderful way to transition you from your primary school knowledge into what a high school English student looks like. You know, I used to love history as a child, and right now I'm living history. 1929 is shaping up to be a fantastic year. Uh, it's been almost a decade since the Great War, and uh, from now out it looks like it's going to be peaceful in the 30s and the 40s, so that looks fantastic. And furthermore, we're going through the greatest economic boom the United States of America has ever seen. Uh, so God bless Hoover, God bless America, and God bless capitalism. And to celebrate, I've decided that I am going to put all of my savings in stocks. Because what goes up must come down is just the saying, am I right? Hi, I'm Caitlin Smith. And I'm Cody Murphy. Welcome to HSIE at Cronulla High School. So human society and its environment offers Cronulla High School students a comprehensive range of subjects all the way from year 7 up to year 12. In Year 7, students will be introduced to both history and geography, and in history, students will learn a variety of topics, including studies of ancient Egypt and ancient China, and in geography, they will learn about the different landscapes and landforms and natural disasters. But within history, you'll get the chance to learn about the ancient world through a range of practical and hands-on learning tasks, such as creating the Great Pyramid of Giza, recreating an ancient museum with artefacts, and creating human timelines. Within geography, you will learn about the world we live in and the environment around you, including famous Australian and international landscapes and how the weather and climate can impact our Earth. As well as this, you will learn about human geography and how humans can stay connected between travel, transport and technology. Students will also get the opportunity to choose from a variety of subjects from years 9 to 12, such as commerce, elective history, legal studies, business studies, economics, society and culture, ancient and modern history. Taught by passionate teachers with real world experience. We're so excited to welcome you to Cronulla High School in 2023 and we can't wait to see you then. The world is a strange place, but luckily for us, science has all the answers. So, we're going to go talk to Drew Hurst, the head teacher of science. But before we do that, I'm going to have a quick drink. What is this? Hydrochloric acid. <laughs> in science at Cronulla High School, uh, we aim to build students' enthusiasm, and uh, skills in science and all aspects of science. They learn about uh, biology, chemistry, earth and environmental science, physics, and they do this in an interesting way. We conduct experiments, we um, 
do project based learning and uh, certain assessment tasks. We always differentiate and accelerate students and basically to build their knowledge and understanding of science and the applications of it in the real world. So science is one of those really, really interesting and, and great subjects that students don't really get a chance to do much of in primary school and in the labs here you'll have fun, you'll learn new things and um, hopefully work together in groups, make new friends and enjoy uh, science. A few moments later <sighs> What are you doing? What, what do you mean? I'm doing maths You know you can use a calculator Oh Right. In maths, what we like to do in the maths faculty is um, ensure that the essential content is covered. Um, and one way we do that is by using a one process strand. And what we have, what that encompasses is a working mathematically and five other content strands. We have number, we have patterns and algebra, we have data, we have measurement and we have space and geometry. And the aim with all these is that we develop students' mathematical thinking, their understanding, their competence, um, and their confidence in the application of mathematics. And um, they also, we also like to have creativity flourish um, and have them enjoy the subject as, as well um, at the same time. And hopefully they can use these skills in, um, in, in their lives and in their jobs in the future. Um, the way they are taught maths is that they will develop this understanding and knowledge um, through discovery, hopefully. Um, and also through the use of applications of technology. Oh, it's gone all grey again, but at least I lost the accent, so that's a plus. Cronulla High School does do fantastic academically, but we also have one other trick up our sleeves, and that is theatrics. Uh, we do offer a fantastic CAPRA program, which includes drama, uh, dancing, singing, and visual arts. And we also offer technology mandatory subjects, which allow you to just be that little bit more creative. So, let's go check it out. The co-curricular program at Cronulla High School caters for students in year 7 to 12 interested in dance, drama, music, visual arts, and singing of all ages, abilities and interests, and provides opportunities for students to share their talents in a friendly and supportive environment. The CAPA staff, tutors and ensemble leaders remain committed to offering a variety of ensembles that will provide students with the opportunity to develop their skills and confidence. Students from our programs are regularly selected to participate in prestigious ensembles and events including the School Spectacular, State Dance and State Drama, the School Symphonic Wind Orchestra, Dance and Drama Festivals, and represent Cronulla High School at many other regional and local events and also perform at our school assemblies and showcase their talents at our performing arts events. We also run a tuition program for guitar, vocal and piano. Lessons are run by qualified and experienced tutors and take place weekly during the school day on a rotating basis. Our co-curricular program is inclusive and is for students of all abilities and ages. Students need no prior skill to join, just an interest in developing a talent. The one consistent feature that underpins our co-curricular program is that no matter what skill set, age or level of ability that the student has within each ensemble is that they will be challenged to improve and be taught by teachers passionate about seeing your child's skills grow and enjoy their learning. We offer four dance ensembles, elite company, training company, conditioning and junior selective. We have year seven drama ensemble, year eight drama ensemble and an elective drama ensemble, concert band, stage band, fortnightly band tutorials vocal ensemble, selective vocal ensemble, drumline, and guitar, vocal, and piano tuition. Good morning. So I'm a visual arts teacher at Cronulla High School. Uh, we've shown you through some of our ceramics unit, which is our newest addition to Cronulla High School. 
This is this was our first year 10 that have come through and they've been doing a lot of wheel work, some slip casting, some slab rolling. We've got some great facilities here. We've all, we're also running photo photography and digital media as an elective and in the visual arts course we do a lot of painting, a lot of printmaking. Um, there's an emphasis on developing skills like working out how to paint portraits, working out how to position features on faces but then we also like you to be expressive and we encourage a lot of uh, experimental, um, yeah more of an experimental approach to art making I guess. Uh, it's a lot of fun. We do look at some other artworks and how other artists have approached art making throughout time and place. But overall I think art's a great place to be. It's friendly, we have a lot of fun, and we all love it. Looking forward to meeting you. So unfortunately there's no one available in the computing studies faculty, so uh, I get this instead, so that's exciting. So computing studies is mandatory for year seven and eight, and it's one of those subjects which is very much multidisciplinary and all the skills are very much transferable to other subjects. Uh, students will begin in computing studies by learning the full extent of uh, Microsoft Office and how to use all the features in Microsoft Office. They'll also get complete access to the Adobe Creative Cloud and that's where they'll get to learn uh, how to digitally manipulate images through Photoshop. Uh, they'll also get to create an application for a phone in Year 7. Uh, it is very much, like I said, multidisciplinary in a way. You can apply every skill from computing studies to other subjects, whether that be music, visual arts, or science. Um, it's also a subject where creativity really flourishes, especially if you decide to choose IST in Year 9 and 10 or Multimedia in Year 11 and 12, uh, where you get to choose your own projects. Um, like I said, a lot of skills you also learn, uh, whether that be video editing, uh, photo manipulation, it's pretty much got everything you could ever, ever need or want. Um, so, thank you. Hi there, my name's Mrs. Ferugia and I'm one of the TAS teachers here at Cronulla High School. Um, here we are in one of our commercial kitchens here at Cronulla High and when you start Year 7, you have the opportunity to be working in this environment. So for six months of the year, you'll be in here learning some kitchen and cookery skills and doing a project that we call Grow and Thrive. So you'll have the opportunity to work uh, with salamanders, with our industrial stoves and working amongst our kitchen individually and in pairs. For the second half of the year, you'll be upstairs in our textiles department. So uh, doing a project there and using machines and uh, textiles tools up there. So we can't wait to see you here at Cornell High School when you start Year 7 and uh, get s stuck into the practical work. Do you consistently get lost in the local forest? Yeah, to be honest, neither do I. But if you did, Cronulla High School's Duke of Edinburgh program might teach you a thing or two about navigation. And if not, at the very least, you might make some friends along the way to get lost with. So, you pretty much can't lose. The Duke of Edinburgh Award is a popular program that approximately 200 of our students are currently involved in. It is offered to students from years 9 and above. Within this program, we participate in service, physical recreation, skills, and two adventurous journeys. The program develops many lifestyle skills which allow our students to become more confident members of our community. It is highly regarded by many employees and organisations. It is a program that not only teaches our students these lifestyle skills, but one that many of our students enjoy. Alright kids, we need some ideas to improve the school. What do you got? Sir, what if we put coke in the bubblers? Alright. Uh, coke in the bubblers. Um, well, I'm not sure about that one, Jimmy. You got anything else? Oh, when are we meant to get that pool? All right then, coke in the bubblers it is. Hi everyone, my name is Miss Incolingo and I am the SRC coordinator at Cronulla High School. The SRC stands for Student Representative Council, which means that we uh, liaise with the community, we work together to make Cronulla High School the best place it can be. We work with uh, charities and fundraise for particular events and we raise awareness about important issues within the school and the greater community. This year the SRC has 22 members from years 8 to 12 and being a part of the SRC equips these students with valuable skills that are useful if they choose to go for a leadership role in their final year of schooling, such as prefect or school captain. 
If the SRC sounds like something that interests you and you would like to join, you will have the opportunity to do so in term three of 2023. And you can come see me anytime you like in the English staff room for more information. Thanks, I can't wait to see you. Hi everyone, my name's Cameron Paddy and I'm one of the sports coordinators here at Cronulla High School. Just want to give you a very quick rundown of the things we offer here in regards to sport at Cronulla High. Pretty much, we run a very similar program to PSSA. Uh, we run it on a Thursday afternoon here at Cronulla High School and that's across a variety of sports, female, male and mixed competitions. We also run recreational sport as well. That's where students get an opportunity to go out and about in the community and participate in a variety of sports such as climb fit, flip out, laser tag and a variety of others. Um, we very much look forward to having your children here as students at Cronulla High School and I look forward to meeting you all possibly in the future. Thanks for listening. Well, that's the end of the video. Uh, there's no more video left. It is over. So thank you for watching. And if you did find any of this interesting, please go check out the Cronulla High School webpage and all the social media. And if you didn't, I'm sorry, but I probably wasted 20 minutes of your time.